because no matter how perfect things may seem online, there's always some tears in the background, and that's life. Good morning, happy Thursday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am currently about to go on a run. I'm gonna do a little test. I've got both my Garmin and my Apple Watch on, and I'm gonna see if they're both fairly the same or if one is like drastically different than the other just for a little experiment because sometimes I feel like my Garmin wigs out or like it just feels wrong I don't know how to explain it so I've got both watches on both hands and I'm gonna go for an easy run no pace in mind no distance in mind I need to make sure I'm doing a lot of easy runs before I jump into another training block because I wasn't ready I was not ready it's actually quite cold this morning too which is nice but yeah let's see how we go so i've got garmin here and my apple watch here obviously they're both probably going to start slightly different times because i don't think i can hit the buttons at the same time anyway let's go okay so far i can feel them beeping at like different times and man my fitness is definitely not where it was well, that's for sure I've also figured out where the microphones are on this thing, so I don't keep covering them. Oh, just gonna walk for a second. I've got both of my watches covered up, so I don't actually know how far I am. I think I'm like two and a half. Oh, it's just so disheartening, but I haven't really run consistently since the half marathon, so what do you expect? It's just annoying to have to go through all that again. I'm trying to go really, really slow, but I just can't get my breath like under control I feel like that's the hardest part when you start is the getting your breath under control let's keep going literally driven to the gym i've decided i don't want to go in i don't know if this happens to anyone else but i'll be motivated to go to the gym i'll get here quite literally as soon as i'm in the car park i lose all motivation to go this is definitely a time where it's like discipline over motivation however i'm a little bit hungry and i don't want to train legs hungry that's just not gonna happen so i kind of want to like maybe just go home <laughs> which is so dumb because i'm driven here go home like eat something and then just maybe go a bit later so rather than doing it in the morning like lunchtime or something because i just really do not want to go at the moment <laughs> i'm just not hyped and it's legs i want to have a good session i don't want to have like a half hour session so i'm gonna go home probably eat something i've got a youth foods that i want to eat because yeah i'm quite hungry is it dumb that i just drove all the way here for no reason maybe it's not happening at the moment <laughs> We're gonna, we'll go later. We'll go later, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> this video is actually sponsored by You Foods. Particularly since I am in a tracking phase at the moment, the fact that these are so easy to track, it's just super, super handy and all of the meals are so delicious. I have another box coming tomorrow, so this is my last one. This is the Thai green chicken curry. Am I having this for breakfast? Yes. If I do have a good stock of U-Foods in my fridge, I tend to have one meal in the day that's a U-Foods. Usually it's lunch, sometimes it's breakfast or dinner, it just depends what floats my boat. So I cannot rave enough about U-Foods. I have tried a lot of like ready meals like this and U-Foods is definitely my favorite. They just taste the best. They have so many different options. They have the fueled, which are like the slightly bigger meals, which I should try that for next time around. They have vegetarian options, high protein, just a really good variety. I feel like my lips look really purple. I don't know if I'm cold or something. My favorite is definitely the chicken penne. That one is so good. I always get like two or three whenever I get a box. This one is 472 cows, 26 protein, 52 carb. I will be glad to have this in my system before I train legs today. It's really me trying to go before I've eaten anything like proper. I always have like my pre-breakfast, which is always like a coffee, a rice cake and cottage cheese and stuff. But especially since my period's coming, I always tend to be more hungry around that time, which is very, very normal, by the way. If you do want to give you foods a try, you can use my code UCON and that will get you up to $200 off your first five boxes. Cheese in the microwave. I always put it in a bowl. Oh, this looks yum. This is what she looks like. Smells really good. This is so good. This is honestly, I reckon up there with chicken penne. Mmm. 
it's kind of spicy and there's lots of chicken in it which is nice because there's nothing worse than getting something and there's like one piece of chicken in there no i rate this i think this is so good i'm gonna sit down and finish eating this but thank you so much you for sponsoring this part of the vlog and again my code is yukon and now there's a quick bar in the background <laughs> I wanted to let you know my findings with the whole double watch situation. People definitely looked at me funny. It is kind of what I expected. They were quite different. Obviously, they would have started at slightly different times, but the Garmin was definitely faster than the Apple Watch. I did do some Googling and it said that maybe your Apple Watch like needs to be updated. I have a Series 6, I believe. It's not a cellular watch either. So I don't know what to think because in my mind as well, I'm also thinking back to the half marathon when my watch was really out of whack. Although maybe that was just because it was a half marathon and there was thousands of people. Your watch is bound to get a little bit like freaked out by all the signals and Bluetooth and whatever. I think a difference of like a couple hundred meters is probably normal. However, according to my Garmin, I ran 7.49, 7.5 kilometers, right? 52 minutes, 49 seconds. The Apple Watch said I ran 7.01 kilometers. So, so almost 500 meters difference. Is that a lot? I'm not actually sure. If any of you can help me, that would be super appreciated. The main thing just felt like my pacing was really, really different. Like the, my Garmin would beep. It would honestly feel like a kilometer later. My Apple Watch would beep and they were super out of whack. The pacing's very, very different to my Apple Watch. Basically, my Apple Watch is telling me I went much slower but the actual time is the exact same which that should be the same it would be very weird if that wasn't the same and now I'm like I don't know which one's more accurate the Garmin or the Apple Watch I want to believe that the Garmin's more accurate you would think it's more accurate because it is a watch designed for running and I did try to like fiddle with the settings and make sure everything was you know locations on with the Apple Watch and everything like that according to Garmin my average pace was 703 per kilometer but according to Apple Watch we were 731 per kilometer so that leaves me honestly with more questions <laughs> than answers so should I use the Garmin or should I use the Apple Watch now in the future I mean I want to use my Garmin because it's it's meant for <laughs> running I don't know anyway we're about to go to the gym again and do a leg session and I'm probably gonna wear these at the gym I know I say on my Instagram story all the time that I hate wearing these as long as I don't get too sweaty they're okay and I just don't feel like wearing my other headphones right now and I know I mentioned in the last vlog that I got some new earphones I don't like them I've tried them on but I just can't get them to fit in my ears properly don't know if it's just my ears or what so I'm gonna probably sell those which is unfortunate so still kind of on the hunt for a good Earphone. Let me know recommendations. Would love to hear it. So happy on our walk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like sitting and listening to the birds <laughs> hello
Good morning, happy Sunday. <laughs> we ended up going to the gym yesterday because I didn't go on the Friday because I just, I could have seen that coming from a mile away. I had a really good leg session and then after it, I felt like I had been hit by a truck. I was so exhausted. I think it was just a combination of training legs and the fact that my period is coming any second now. But I feel right now I'm gonna go try and go for a run because I wanna get in the habit of just regularly running and it doesn't have to be the most insane thing in the world. Like, I don't know why I keep thinking that I need to be going out and doing like seven plus kilometers. I can just do a 5K, that's fine. God. Um, this nail is coming off and I need to, I'm trying to glue it back on. And I'm a bit frustrated too because my cough has been quite bad again for the last couple of nights and like right now. I think I've mentioned this, but I've had just a dry cough or a cough and some congestion for like four months now probably over four months. It's so frustrating because um, I've been to the doctor three times and I've now been referred to an ear, nose and throat specialist. So I need to go um, book that in tomorrow. Yeah, it's so weird. Like I've had an x-ray on my chest. That was all normal. Everything seems normal, except it's just, I have a cough. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Hopefully an ear, nose and throat specialist can help me with that. Oddly enough, it doesn't affect my running terribly. It does a little bit. If I've got a really runny nose, it definitely does. I think it's called chronic cough. That needs to piss off. But we're gonna go for an easy run. It's actually, it's funny. Today's meant to be a top of 27. 27? Let's go do this. Am I gonna warm up? I really don't want to. <laughs> but I should. I really should. Maybe for Christmas I'll get like the Oakley glasses because they're quite expensive. Whoa, I cannot see the camera right now. These are the ones from Amazon, but they cover my eyebrows and it makes me look so weird, I think. Like I need them to sit here. I don't know. I just don't think they suit me, those ones. Let's go. This is the fit. And I'm wearing my heart rate strap today just to see how the heart rate's going, you know. <laughs> I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this run. I feel really good. Oops, I'm coming. I feel a little bit more out of breath now, but I'm the best. There could be a place for you and me. And under the stars, you pack up your car. I'm also trying to breathe in my nose a lot more. We have just driven to Costco on the Gold Coast. Kind of random. I've never been to Costco, but I'm very, very curious to just have a look around and see what it is. I, I, I feel like I have an idea of what it's going to be like, but who knows? So that is today's activity. Just got a coffee from McDonald's. Are you excited? So excited. I think we've picked the worst day to come here because it's a Sunday. It's midday. It's packed. Thing that we got from Costco. Certainly an experience. We'll never ever ever go on a Sunday again because oh my god it was so busy but we definitely got a few things. I found a big kimchi. Love that. I also found an everything with the bagel seasoning. Quite a few things. I'm gonna unpack everything now. You know when you're just in a hair wash mood I was like we're washing the hair for self-care. These things have never worked for me. I got them to use on my boyfriend <laughs> because I feel like they tend to work on boys' noses, which is really random. I thought we could give it a go. I had a shower, so my pores were open. It's fully dry. I might need to get tweezers, actually. Oh, that makes your eyes water so bad. I don't think it's going to pull anything out. Literally nothing. I don't understand, though, because I definitely have, like, shit in there. Am I pulling it off wrong? Ah. Uh... I don't think I got anything. I'm gonna use some of this K18 stuff and it's quite literally nearly out, but it's so good. You rub it between your hands until it gets really white. Like, isn't that wild? Brush it through. It is quite incredible. I feel like winter is officially over. It's honestly hot, like it's not cold anymore. And I feel like for everyone except me, that's really exciting. I wonder if dark brown would actually look not that bad. Should we try it? 
I normally do the black because I like, yeah, let's give it a go, hey? Oh my God, I'm sweating my tits off in here. Also, I wanted to quickly address something. Basically, what am I doing with early bird? Is early bird still happening? What is the situation there? It's definitely taken a back seat over the last few months while I've had other things that I've been doing and whatnot. But behind the scenes, it is still a thing. It's just, I'm taking it in a very, 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 very different direction. It's almost like, I guess we're having a bit of a rebrand. So I guess it's kind of like on pause at the moment. Well, not really on pause, but it's just, it's going in a different direction. Is that in my eye? <laughs> there was just this other part of me that wanted to take it <laughs> or change it into something different. I really feel like it's a much better fit for me as a person. It'll just be better. She's still there. She just might look a little bit different. Oh, that is straight on my eyelid. I learned a lot with early bird because uh, doing a business is very, very hard. Um, not that I didn't think it would be hard, but it's really difficult. And sometimes you just have to like learn on the go. And I've definitely made so many mistakes with it. But I guess if you don't make mistakes, how can you learn? Hey Siri, can you set a timer for 10 minutes? I'm sorry if I just set off everyone's series. So far, this is not looking like super dark, but I like it's not black, Connor. So it's not gonna be black. We were gonna go to the gym, but I did proceed to have a bit of a mental breakdown in the car. It does usually happen kind of before my period, but you know when just like small things make you just burst into tears, which is, it's so dramatic. I guess that's the hormones speaking. I feel a little bit better now, but I just... <laughs> we drive to the gym, I'm like crying in the car, so we're gonna go home. I feel like I am the type of person I get very, very overwhelmed easily, especially around my period. It's funny how as you get older, you learn like how you are as a person. As I get older, I realize that I'm so much like my dad. And the things that I used to get in trouble for, or like as a kid growing up, things that I would do that would make him upset are the same things that make me upset now as a 24 year old. And every time I think something or I like say something, I'm like, oh my God, I'm my dad. Does anyone else have that? Like you realize you're so much like your parents or parent and it kind of freaks you out a little bit. And I'm like, oh my God, the things that I used to do as a teenager or whatever make me so upset as a, you know what I mean? As an, as a 24 year old, is this, is this maturing? I would love to not experience mental breakdowns every time my period comes around. It's so inconvenient. I honestly just wish my period would come because usually by the time it starts, we're good. I don't feel as like emotional, but it's fine. Listening to the body. <laughs> also, by the way, this is how the brows turned out. Brows I'm happy with. This eye is a little bit bloodshot. So tint your own eyebrows and tint your lashes at your own risk. Um, boyfriend's in the supermarket. He's getting some stuff, but I was crying, so I decided to stay in the car. I wouldn't normally film this, but hopefully it's relatable, because no matter how perfect things may seem online, there's always some tears in the background, and that's life. I don't know why I'm becoming so philosophical now. I also bent this nail back when I was, like, wiping the bench down, and it hurt like a mother So, I need to get my nails done. Desperately. Okay, it's going back now. <laughs> this evening i have had a very oh, not unproductive day my my period has just knocked the life out of me um because it did end up coming and i just feel so lethargic so irritable and tired and just every single symptom i feel it today so i've just like let myself be in the mood of just my boyfriend did end up going to the gym. Uh, I, however, did not want to go to the gym. No way, Jose, am I training legs on day one of my period. Absolutely not. I just kind of want this day to be over because I just, I, I will probably feel better tomorrow. Who's going to tell her that she's going to have the worst cramps ever tomorrow? Who's going to tell? I'm having the Thai red curry from you foods. <gasps> I swear this whole vlog is just me leading up to my period and then getting my period. When I tell you I had the worst 
cramping this morning. Like I had to take an aphrodisiac, which is like period pain medication because I was like almost in tears. It was that bad. So that explains all the emotions. But thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Sure.